Welcome to another useful video. Today's video will cover the construction of a hydroponic farm. Step by step, we will show you all of the procedures that we took to build our very own custom A-frame based hydroponic garden. It was a really fun and cool project and we hope that this video and picture series helps you out. Without further ado, here we go. Step 1. Gather your supplies. You'll need things like wood, a water pump, a water tank, some brass fittings, PVC pipe, and other materials that we'll show later on in the video. Step 2 is pretty simple. You'll just want to go ahead and start building your A-frame. Your A-frame will vary in size and shape based on the dimensions of your plot of land or wherever you're going to choose to put your garden. We had a designated area in our backyard which you can see here and this is how the A-frame looked after we assembled it and put it up. So moving on to step 3, you'll want to prep the water tank area. We used a Brute 44 gallon trash can as our water tank and it works nicely to keep a lot of water and hopefully keep the temperature of the water cool during the summertime. We also went ahead and dug out as much of a hole as we could for the 44 gallon trash can to be able to put it deeply into the soil. This is important because it's going to keep evaporation to a minimum and also keep our water temperatures hopefully nice and cool. So step four would be to drill the PVC pipes. We purchased two 4 inch and two 6 inch PVC pipes and we drilled the hole using a Milwaukee hole dozer. So to drill the holes you'll want to do the pilot hole quickly and use a solid firm pressure at a medium speed to get the pilot hole drilled. Once the pilot hole is drilled you'll want to put the pilot drill bit into the pipe and then turn the power up on your drill and go at a higher revolution and keep a firm steady hand while you're going into the PVC tube. This PVC is pretty thick especially the 6 inch ones and so it really helps if you had a half inch drill. We only used a 3 8 inch drill and it still worked but sometimes it would catch on the PVC tube and we had to try certain holes two or three times. But in general, if you have a steady hand and you make your pilot hole and then you make the bigger hole at a higher, faster RPM, generally the process is pretty simple. This was one of the worst bits of the project because plastic went everywhere. But it's really important because we made the two inch holes in the PVC tubes. They were around 10 inches apart to be able to put our two inch cups into the PVC tubes once our garden is complete these plastic PVC filings go all over and it's a bear to clean so just keep that in mind. Once the tubes were drilled we brought them outside to the location where our hydroponic farm is located and we put them aside here and a quick tip for you you want to follow the writing on the PVC tubes when you're drilling them that helps you maintain a straight line which is very important for your tube. And step 5 would be to mount your PVC pipes. We use these Simpson strong arm metal brackets to mount our PVC pipes onto the A-frame. They were the perfect thickness for the wood that we had and they allowed us to use three screws which gave it a very nice firm solid hold and they were able to hold the weight of the PVC pipes without any issue. So what you want to do when you're mounting your pipes is that you want the end that gets fed the water supply to be a little bit higher than the end that drains the water supply. And for that you have to kind of measure it and use a level to make sure that the level is on a slight incline or decline depending on which side you're at. This is important because it helps the water to maintain a correct level within the pipe but also have enough water drainage so that the system can flow correctly and the pump won't get starved of water. So once you have your location marked on your A-frame it's time to use three screws to mount the brackets to the frame. And here you can see we've aligned everything up, we've used a level, and now we're just drilling in the screws into the A-frame for the bracket. Once you've drilled in the screws, the bracket is really secure, and you can go ahead and lift up your PVC pipe and actually put it onto the A-frame. And once you put it onto there, your system is starting to come together and you just feel great. Here you can see that we have one of the pipes installed onto the A-frame and it fit great and the weight of the pipe was easily supported by the brackets on the A-frame itself and here you can see we have all of the tubes fitted onto the A-frame 
and there's the bracket that's holding the tube up. There's plenty of space that the bracket has. You could even put a piece of wood on the bracket so that the PVC tube is on the actual piece of wood and then the bracket is underneath of it. And you can see in this video here, we have a slight angle that starts from the back and comes to the front because the front is where the water goes back into the tank. And we actually got some Rust-Oleum paint and painted one of the tubes uh, a dark espresso and it looked really nice to us so we just decided to go ahead and paint them all. Here you can see the tubes that have been painted. We thought it looked a lot nicer with the color of our A-frame. After you've mounted your tubes you want to secure the tubes using hanger strap. What we used is OD 3 4 inch by 100 number 33515 galvanized hanger strap. What we did is we just bought this universal amount and we cut it to size depending on the different size of tubes that we have and again we're using six inch and four inch tubes and this really helped us to make sure that the tubes were on there really tight in case of a storm or wind or rain or anything like that and then here you can see that the tubes are all mounted and they're secured using that hanger strap Again, the process was really simple. We just cut the strap, then we used one of our galvanized screws and we screwed that into the A-frame. It held really nice and tight and it made us just feel more secure about having the pipes up high. In the next step, you're going to need to order the appropriate 4 inch and 6 inch PVC or ABS caps and drill those caps. We're going to put fittings on these caps to allow the water to come in and out. And you want to use the same technique that we mentioned previously about drilling the PVC tubes. Again, you want to drill the pilot hole and then you want to drill the actual hole with the hole saw very smoothly and securely to make a very nice circular hole. We decided to put our hole in the middle of the unit so that we would have an appropriate amount of water in our tubes, but again, you might need to change that based on your setup. And then we use these 5 8 inch female metal mender adapters and these brass bulkhead fittings. And what we're going to do is going to take one of these brass fittings and we're going to put it on the end of the cap. And what that's going to do is that that's going to allow us to screw on the 5 8 inch female adapter so that we can put a garden hose on the end of the female adapter. So here all you have to do is after you've drilled the 1 and 1 8 inch hole with the hole saw, you want to put the brass adapter into there and then it just has a locking nut and then you just tighten the nut and then once the nut is locked your end cap is basically ready to go. Once that's done you're going to get the 5 8 inch female adapter. You're going to screw that onto that and then once that's screwed onto there the end cap is ready to be cemented onto the PVC tubes. For the water supply, we used half inch PVC tubing and we did a mock draft up by the A-frame and we didn't cement anything at that point and we just made sure everything was lined up correctly and everything was feeding the correct tubes correctly. But here you can see that we used a tube, a T, another small piece of tube, a valve, and then a male and female connector. And what this allows us to do is to fine tune the water supply going into each one of these tubes. Because the valve allows us to control the flow of water, we can make sure that our tubes will have a good supply of steady water and they will drain correctly and make sure that the whole system is working correctly. Because if the water flow and water level isn't right in your tubes, it can cause a total kill of your whole farm and garden, which is never good. Um, but as you can see here, everything's been mocked up. It's been put against the A-frame. We were really happy with how it turned out. And so we decided to go with this method. You might have a tweak or variation on this, but one thing that we found was really important was to be able to tweak the individual water supplies for each PVC tube. And after we were happy with everything, we went ahead and cemented it all together and installed it onto the A-frame and made sure that everything was tight and leak free. Here's the setup installed on the A-frame. As you can see, everything lines up and what we like is that the tubes come out at each individual bigger PVC pipe. 
which allows a fine tune of the water supply and then we just put a garden hose at the end of that connected to the end caps that we drilled earlier which was a really nice system and finally we use these galvanized tube straps to hold everything down onto the a-frame because you really don't want these to get moved around by the wind or a storm or something so we just held them up against the a-frame used the od uh, hanger right there used two screws to secure that onto the a-frame and it just worked a treat everything was great and we highly recommend that for the final phase of the project we installed our water pump into our tank put some rubber hose on there that came out of one of the fittings included with the pump it went into our half inch PVC supply water system with individual valving and then at the end caps on the end we put rubber hoses we just got a two inch PVC tube 10 feet long that would that we just sat on there and the water would come down from the PVC tubes go into that two inch water supply and once they're in the two inch water supply they would go back into our tank and then once the water flows from that two inch water supply into the tank it can be picked up by the water pump again and sent back into the system and it's really important to make sure that your pH your water level and your fertilizer levels are correct and monitor daily to ensure that you have a successful farm and there you have it that's our farm and that's the procedure that we used and thank you so much for watching.